I'm just gonna have to like break the lid. <laughs> oh, I just put a little bit too much on. What is this? I have no idea. I feel absolutely f***ing ridiculous. Ooh, this kind of looks a bit light. Is this highlight just not blended? Girl, God, not this actually turning chaotic. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Oh, I guess this actually isn't a vlog. You know what? I actually think it will be kind of a vlog though. I know the title is Get Ready With Me, but Cal and I are going to a concert tonight. I'm honestly so excited. We have had these concert tickets for probably a few months now, but I really wanted to bring you guys along to the concert, but I didn't want to just vlog the concert. So I figured we could get ready together. I'll obviously bring you guys along to the concert as well. The vibes are you've come over. We're getting ready for a night out on the town except we're just gonna go to the concert and then come back to bed But I'm very excited. I feel like we can just catch up. We can hang out So first I really need to straighten my hair. Oh also guys it is 2 55 p.m. And the concert isn't until 6 30. Well, it's not even at 6 30 like doors open at 6 30 So I have well three and a half hours till 6 30, but we're gonna leave at 6 So I have three hours to get ready. I'm so proud of myself I'm trying to be that person who actually like gives themselves enough time to get ready. I don't want to be the person who's late anymore or the person who is on time, but I am so stressed while I'm getting ready. I can't just enjoy the time. I hope I'm not jinxing myself saying that. No, okay, we're not manifesting that. We are not manifesting that. Anyway, I'm going to straighten my hair. I'll be back in a second. Okay, oh, hello darkness and blur. Um, hello. <laughs> I forgot to mention, I have no idea if the lighting is going to work out in this video video the sun's about to set it's cloudy I don't know I'm really relying on my ring light and praying that the sun doesn't set as quickly as it normally does anyway <laughs> I just straightened my hair it's kind of frizzy but I don't want to put any product in it yet because like I said I am gonna put my hair extensions in I also moisturize and wet my beauty blender so I'm just going to pin my hair back with these mermaid hair clips dude these hair clips are so good honestly if you need some clips in your life you should definitely try these ones out i'll link them below for you guys i also think my mermaid hair code will still work for 15 percent off so i'll put that down below as well um hello <laughs> i also forgot to tell you guys that i am in no way shape or form a makeup artist or a beauty guru or do i have any knowledge of makeup or what the I'm doing oh my god I got this new foundation today and it has sticky tape around the top so obviously you couldn't just open it and use it in the store or steal it or whatever but man this tape is so hard to get off right now it might just be my fake nails but like what the f I got it, I got it, I got it. If you are a dentist watching this, just pretend like you did not just witness that. But I got this new foundation. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. To be honest, I've actually been using this for years. But, oh, hang on a second. This is 32 hours. The one that I had was only 24. Oh, this one also has SPF. Wow, okay, the more you know, I guess. I had it in shade 260. I don't know what the f I was thinking when I bought this. I always just buy makeup without using the testers. Actually, you know what? I think I bought this in lockdown as well. So maybe I didn't just need to expose myself just then. But this shade, dude, it is so dark. Even with my tan on the first day, which it is right now, if I just use this without mixing it with anything, it's like fluorescent orange. So I went and got a new one today. This is in the shade 200 Natural Linen. I tried it on in the store, but the store lighting is always so wonky. So I hope this is going to be okay. What I do is I normally mix the dark one that I have with this L'Oreal Skin Paradise Tinted Water Cream. So I'm going to go in with the new one that I got today and hopefully it's not too dark. But if it is, I'll just mix it with my good old faithful L'Oreal Skin Paradise. Wow, this is like a little L'Oreal fan club over here isn't it i actually don't think i have any of their other products oh there's a sticker oh my god why do they do this i mean like i get it but like i'm just gonna have to like break the lid oh hello girls <laughs> i think i'm also just gonna use this scrunchie to pull all this hair back because it's driving me insane honestly any hair on my face at any time drives me crazy okay you know what this color looks a bit light but fake tan on hands always goes super dark also do you want to see my really fun super professional technique of putting on foundation. So I squirt it on my hand and then I get this rusty crusty Kylie Cosmetics 
eye shadow brush, I think it is. I dip it in the foundation and then I put it straight on to my face. Ooh, this kind of looks a bit light. Maybe when it blends, it'll be okay. If you also do this technique, can you please comment below? Because I feel absolutely f***ing ridiculous. I actually think this makeup color is perfect. What the hell? I was so torn between this one and another one in the store. Also, yes, we're going in with more foundation. My makeup routine has not changed since 2016. I just don't think it ever will. I feel like I'm just always using too much foundation. But... You know, it's just, it is how it is. You know why I shouldn't say that? I am open to change. If you're watching this and you're like, girl, do this instead of this and it will drastically improve, like, please actually comment that below because I would love to learn. <laughs> but I actually think this color matches so well. Wow, I'm so impressed. Because, yeah, there was two colors and I was trying them on in the chemist and I was like... I don't know. So I went with the lighter one because, you know, the last problem I had was I bought one and it was so freaking dark. I was like, I'll go with the lighter one and it paid off. Wow. Never doubt yourself, kids, because you always know what's up. Me pausing for a thumbnail. <laughs> Wait, maybe I could hold the brush. Hello. <laughs> I probably won't use any of that, but you never know. Bad TV safe, Lynn, sorry. Okay, hello. We have moved locations because I think the lighting is better over here and also not the f of the door being open. Why? Why do I never learn? Also didn't bring my makeup with me. God, not this actually turning chaotic. Okay, anyway, foundation is done. And I'm now going to do a little bit of contour. I don't even know if you call what I do contour but that's what i'm trying to do this is the astralis conceal and contour i don't love it a lot i feel like it dries really quickly but i'm just trying to get through the product at this point and dude i am so close to finishing it like look at that anyway how are you guys i have been doing pretty good last week i definitely well i don't want to say drop the ball but i feel like two weeks ago or in my last vlog if you've watched that i was going on about how I got my life together and my sleep schedule was really good. That was really good for about two weeks. Like I was getting up at 5 a.m., going to the gym. I was just feeling so good about myself. Then I had two weekends in a row where I was drinking and it was people's birthdays. Like one weekend it was Kel's birthday and also some of our friends from Canada were down. And then last weekend it was my best friend Anna's birthday. So we had a bottomless brunch. I obviously drank a lot at both of these events and it's actually insane how badly alcohol affects my life. I feel like that sounds dramatic, but I'm sure some of you guys will be able to relate. And honestly, if you can relate, you should listen to Emma Chamberlain's podcast, her episode about alcohol. It was really good and really relatable, but I swear to God, like I will get hung over, but not only will I be hung over the day after drinking, but I will just have the worst anxiety of I'll be in the worst mental state. My body will feel like shit for like the whole entire week. I swear I don't come good if I drink on Saturday until Thursday. And during that time, I'm not sleeping well. I'm going to bed late. I'm waking up late. I'm not eating like the best. I'm just not feeling like my best self. So I'm really going to actively try to limit how much I drink. I mean, to be honest, I don't drink a lot. It's mostly just when it's like a birthday or an event or something like that. But I'm so glad as much as I loved celebrating my friends and girls birthdays and seeing our friends who came in from Canada I'm so excited to just have a couple of weekends even like the rest of the month to just not drink and get back on my game and even when I do drink now I really want to be good at monitoring how much I'm drinking even being that person at events who doesn't drink I feel like there's definitely something to be said for the person who goes out and doesn't drink like why are they the most like iconic person the fact that they can go out and have fun and not drink I think I want to be that girl. Anyway, I'm going to now do... Oh, actually, I'm not going to do my blush. I'm going to do my highlight. This is the same brand and same product range as the concealer that I have. This one is clearly newer because, look, you can actually see the label and the product, whereas this is just, like, crusty, dusty, dead. But, guys, oh, my God, I'm so excited for this concept. And I also love this. I'm very finger pain vibes. I'm so excited for this concert. I haven't even told you guys who we're going to see. Like you're over at my house getting ready and you don't even know who we're going to see. 
see like oh my god okay so we're going to go see the wombats if you haven't listened to the wombats you really need to get on the wave because they are so good i have seen them before i saw them at falls festival in i want to say 2013 i think it was the schoolies that me and my friend caitlin went to we just went to falls fest or maybe it was actually the falls after Anyway, who cares? I saw them at Falls one year and they are so fun live and all their songs are just bops as well. They're one of those bands where they just put out bop after bop. You know how there's some bands where it's like they release an album and one or two songs will be like elite and then the rest are a bit like skip, skip, skip. They are a no skip band. Even the album that some people were a bit like on, I was like, nah, play it on repeat. I love this shit. You guys will know by now, unless you're new here, also if you're new here, you should definitely subscribe because you're at my house. We're getting ready, we're basically best friends at this point. But if you're not new here, you will know that I live for seeing live music. I swear that has been my favorite part of this entire year. There's just something about going and seeing live music that is just nothing else compares to it for me. I spent my whole like teenage years going to concerts as well, like I was that person in school who always had their iPod on them was obsessed with listening to music I'm sure like a bunch of you guys will relate I would always go to concerts and festivals and I just have so many good memories from seeing live music oh I just love it so much so I'm very excited for the concert tonight also I'm just about to do my blush so this is the okay there's like low-key nothing on here but I think it's the Mecca Cosmetica blush like I think it's just their blush, it's not another brand. I'll link it below if I can find it, but this is in the shade Pinch. Also, is this highlight just not blended? Girl, I actually struggle a lot with getting ready and talking. Dude, I was always that person who like needed to just get ready alone and smash it out and then I could actually like enjoy pre's with everyone. Is anybody else that person? I think there's like two types of people in the world and you're either that or you're either like love getting ready with other people. Like I love being around other people for the vibes, but I'm like, like, dude, I just need to get ready and get it out of the way because I don't really love it, if that makes sense. Ooh, the sun's coming across. Hello, girl. I'm happy about it, but I'm also like, is this just going to make the lighting even longer? Yeah, I think we made the right choice moving over here. And now I'm not sitting on the ground as well. Do you want to see where I was sitting? I was literally just in there. Like, girl, now I'm at least in a seat. To be honest, I really liked this blush, as you can see, because it is literally empty. I'm just going to use my fake nail to scrape out some and continue to use it. I really want to try the Rare Beauty blush. Also, don't freak out. This blush is one of those ones where you have to do a fair few layers, or at least I do, because I like to wear a lot of blush. It's not going to be just as intense, I swear. But I really, really want to try the Rare beauty blush because I feel like I see every single influencer try it and they really like it but I don't even know if you can get it in Australia who knows oh my god I haven't even told you guys this but to be fair I also haven't booked the tickets <laughs> so ooh, will this be out before I booked the tickets or after Cal and I have decided we're going to go to Splendor in the Grass. If you're an Australian, you'll probably know what it is, but if you're not Australian or if you just don't know, it is a music festival that happens in Byron Bay. Well, it's not in, it's near, but it's in Byron Bay. And I've always wanted to go, but I've just never gone. I know that sounds so like, I mean, okay, but it's been one of those things where I'm like, oh, I should go, and then I haven't gone. So this year we were like, dude, let's do it. And I'm very excited for it. I have not been to a music festival since Coachella 2019 and I know a lot of people are gonna have been the same because obviously the pandemic but dude I used to go to music festivals like every single year and I miss it so much I'm so excited and like the vlogs I just keep thinking about the vlogs oh they're gonna be so good if we buy the tickets which I'm like we will we will buy them. okay next I'm going to do my eyeshadow guys look at this this is I, I don't know it's elf it is an elf eyeshadow palette i don't know what the color is it's crusty it's rusty but it does the job so i'm going to put this on my eyes i need to get an eyeshadow brush and it's just it's going to be fine okay next i'm going to do this well i was going to do my highlight but i guess i'll do my brows i have this what is this oh this is an astralis eyebrow pencil this is so 
gross man what the hell <laughs> i'm just gonna fill in my brows a little bit oh my god do you remember like 2016 when everyone used to fill in their brows like absolutely crazy like the dip brow situation girl i was all for that like i loved it back in the day but do you reckon those eyebrows will come back because everything always circles like trends whether they're fashion makeup whatever like they always come back around and i'm like when is the ombre eyebrow going to make a reappearance and also will i jump back on board <laughs> Because right now, I'm loving life on the shore, but when the ship comes in, am I gonna jump on it? Or am I gonna stay on the beach? I have no idea. Okay, I'm just gonna brush these out. I feel like this looks pretty average right now, but at the same time, literally, who cares? You know what I mean? Like, who cares? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of highlighter. I feel like I really need to get on board with a liquid highlighter because every time I put this powder one on, I'm like, ugh, I don't really like this that much. But this is the, look at this. Like, like what? <laughs> it was the Australis, well it still is, but it's the Australis High Life highlighter. It goes on kind of chalky, to be honest. Oh my God. I used to be obsessed with the Becca, Champ is it Champagne Pop? I think it was Champagne Pop highlighter. Oh, the choke hold that had me in next level and wasn't it super expensive as well it was like 60 bucks for this highlighter and i reckon i bought a couple of them in my time like oh becca do they still make it because if they still make it i honestly would see myself buying it again because it was really good oh i just put a little bit too much on ah now what can you do also it's nighttime and it's a concert so i feel like my makeup doesn't need to be perfect because one people aren't coming to see me and they're going to see the band and two you know it's nice. Okay, next I'm gonna use the NYX Wonder Pencil just in my waterline. I absolutely love this thing. Oh my God, I'll see if I can find photos. But guys, <laughs> my makeup back in the day, bad. Like if you think this is bad, I, this isn't bad, but it's nothing like extraordinary. You know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, it's fine. My makeup back in the day at high school was God, 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 awful. The blush, like what was I doing? Like literally what was I doing? But I also used to put so much white eyeliner under my eye. And don't get me wrong, I still like to use a little bit, but like keywords, little bit. Okay guys, I actually really love this setting spray. So this is the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And let me tell you, okay, so I thought setting sprays were a scam, okay? I used to spend so much money on that Urban Decay one. It probably does work to be honest, but but then I was like, nah, it's all just like tap water in a bottle. It's not, but you know what I mean? That's the vibe. It's like, it's not actually doing anything. They're just making us buy it. And then I stopped using setting spray and all of my makeup would start to come off sooner. I also don't use powder because I'm 26 and starting to get creases. When I put powder on, it's just not the vibes. <laughs> anyway, I bought this one because it is significantly cheaper than the Urban Decay one. And it's actually so good. Like I really like it. Oh my gosh, you remember that TikTok where it's the sound of someone using the setting spray and going, like chuk, 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 chuk. someone sitting there being like imagine if that was us right now like imagine if i was like oh can i borrow your settings spray and you were like yeah sure and you pass it to me and then i'm like i feel like you'd be sitting there like girl anyway i'm going to do my bottom mascara once this dries <laughs> obviously because if i put this on right now girl it'll literally be like black lines coming down my face and then i'm also going to do my lips at the end as well because i am going to have some food and drink and all that kind of stuff so there's like literally no point putting lips on so i'm going to go and do my hair off camera because i just looked up at my camera and i have been filming for a very long time also i'm going to put my extensions in and that's just like super fiddly and everything so i'm gonna go do my hair i will see you guys soon okay hello it is 10 past 5 i am completely ready the sun has also gone down i'm so over this like i know it's winter but does the sun have to go down at 5 p.m but anyway i'm very excited because we still have an hour until we need to leave and i am completely ready so i just put my extensions in i did these two plaits in the front i'm honestly obsessed with wearing my hair like this at the moment i put on some mascara on my bottom lashes and for my lips i used the mac lipstick called yash i want to show you my outfit but i'm like I don't know how to do this. Oh, I have a stool, actually. I've watched enough Laura Gerardo videos to know this is a bad idea, but at the same time, like, I want to give you guys the fit you deserve. Okay, here we go. Um, 
<laughs> so I have this white crop top from Cotton On. I literally wear it in almost every single video. It's down to $5. I have this black fake leather jacket. I'm not sure where it's from. It's Kells. And then I have these black kind of like acid wash jeans. This is where I'm scared because I like want to show you, but I'm also like, hey. <laughs> I actually got them thrifting two or three weekends ago. And I'm absolutely obsessed with the fit of them. I'm also going to wear my fake Doc Martens. I got these boots from Big W and they legit look like Doc Martens. I had like three people come up to me and be like, do you have Docs? And I'm like, girl, <laughs> no, I can't afford those. But anyway, for jewelry, I didn't wear a necklace because I feel like when you're wearing these halter tops, you just don't need a necklace. It looks a bit like too much going on. But I did put on these gold rings. These are from a combination of Anna Luisa and Perry Foyer. I think I still have an Anna Luisa discount code, so I'll pop that below for you. This ring is from them, and it is my absolute favorite. I literally am obsessed with it. And then I also have this gold bracelet from Perry Foyer as well. Anyway, I'll see you guys when we leave. Yeah.